Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's talk about Power Queen. Man, I should not do that, but in today's video, finally, we'll continue the Power Queen setup. In this case, we'll build out of two of those Power Queen Mini 100 amp hours, 12 volt lithium ion phosphate batteries. I have two of them, one should be right here, right? I have two of them. And we will do a configuration instead of 12 volt, we want to have a 24 volt pack at the end. Let's get started. So it means having two 12 volt batteries making a serious connection will be a 24 volt battery at the end. So just an example, we have two, just an example, and actually we're working with this, we have two of those lithium iron phosphate 12 volt 100 amp hour mini batteries from Power Queen. And I should mention, Power Queen is the sponsor of this video today. So, before we do the build, thanks Power Queen for providing those batteries, two of them. The minis are a phenomenal battery, I feel like, and this is my personal opinion, even though it's a sponsored video, but so far, the size and the versatility and flexibility this small battery gives you. I tried to record another video up there where I built a parallel connection. Um, I tried to make it as simple as possible, and I will do this also for this build. Having two batteries, 12 volt, in a serious configuration will give us 24 volt at the end, but, so it means the voltage will change, but the amp hours will stay the same. So, double the power still, but we have a 24 volt setup, and I hope this is beginner friendly and easy to follow as I go through that. Before I continue, this weekend, so this video is timely scheduled for today. Surprise. But this weekend, the weekend of the 14th and the 15th of October, the Adventure Van Expo will happen. I'll be there, and also Power Queen will be there, with uh, maybe some stickers, maybe something else you can get, so look around if you can see me and find me. So this is my face. It's a nice one. Ish. Don't comment, please. But anyways, it's happening this weekend in Big Bear. So I'll be there, I hope to see you there, and then we can discuss what Power Queen can do for you. Or not, who knows. But let's continue with the build, and let me explain you how it works. So I'm not doing an unboxing or anything like that. We did already in a previous video, which I pointed out already, where we did the parallel connection. But I also want to point out with those Power Queen mini batteries, they have a pretty good product manual, which I would like to refer you to. And when you go on page nine, then you can see limitation for series and parallel connection. Don't worry about the limitation, but you can see how the setup works. So series connection, you can see, you connect one negative from first cell with the positive, of the second cell. And that's exactly what we will do. And then we'll connect to the available and empty our outlet basically, or the wire which goes to your system. And of course, the limitation, what they mean with this section is just that four in series, but also four in parallel is the maximum they would recommend. So the first thing you need to do, charging them to full, I would recommend you, just to make sure they're same level. If you have, for whatever reason, a new one and an old one, they might not be able to give you full power at the end, um, just because it's already a little degraded maybe over time, depending on how old it is. But um, if you buy it new and you just charge them full and then you do your setup, you should be good to go and then just continue. So for our setup, we will need those two batteries. We will need one wire, which I have already prepared. Uh, I'll take this one. One wire, ideally a short one, a very thick one. Since this is a 24 volt system, and we will have at the end 100 amp hour maximum, which goes out in a 24 volt system. You need to size your wire properly. So whatever you want to do. So one battery you can do as you remember the parameters here on this page one. There's a max continuous discharge and charge. Continuous by the way, right? Continuous. So that is very impressive. For 100 amp hours here. 100 amp hours are possible to go in and out. You need to size your wire appropriately. So for my case, I will use a four gauge wire. And because you remember maybe from the last video, I like to have it a little longer. So I build a little longer wire. It's not super long, but it's longer. And I'm using a 3 8 lock here to accommodate those M8 bolts. You can make it shorter. It's better because they will act kind of a bus bar in between. But I want to be flexible in terms of where I put it. Maybe I want to have a configuration like that because the car requires it, the bank requires it. Maybe I want to have Maybe I want to have a configuration like that. So it would be just this distance, right? So when you have it just here, that's easy to connect and quick. 
it's up to you and your configuration. Please keep that in mind. If you're building a wire yourself, hey, you, you do it what you want to do, right? If you have to buy it, um, figure out what you, how you want to set it up later. If it's maybe some configuration in a car, van, home, whatever, um, depending on your use case. I refer to page nine, but also on page 11, page 11 on here, right? There is uh, connect batteries in series, and there you can see, so I'll do that pretty much like they show us here. I think that's the easiest also to follow. So I'll do this picture up here, page 11. Set it up like this. Now we'll connect positive and negative. And because it's, you know, positive to negative, it means red or black. I'll use a black wire in this case. So I'll connect the first side here. And by the way, my battery is already full, so I just recharge everything. That's why I'm not testing it right now. And then I'll just curl it up here a little bit because it's a long wire. Then place it here. There's no load in it, so hopefully also no spark. And before we continue, we should tighten it down. So I'm using a 13 millimeter socket or a Phillips head screwdriver works fine as well. Don't over tighten them, don't go crazy on them, but tighten them down and make them snug. So, what I, I want to do now, because we are almost done with this, I'm checking the volts. So, setting it to volts. What we need to measure is now, they're still available and they're still available, not used, negative and positive. So that means, I'll take those two. I'm not sure if you can see that. I hope you can read it a little bit. So here we can see now 26.79. So we do have a 24 volt pack already. And since you saw me measuring those two, guess what? We'll connect our outlet wire or the wires which we'll use to connect to our um, setup, our devices, MPPT charger or a shunt or whatever you have. I'll use one of those Anderson connectors and I decided to go with a bit pretty beefy one. It is even a 175. And as a connector. So it's pretty beefy. It's also four gauge. So that means how do we connect it? We have red and black. So guess what? Correct. This time we can use the colors. And now be careful when connecting everything. Put them eight bolts, which comes with the batteries. A 5 16th lock also works pretty fine. So I'm connecting negative here first. as long as you do not have a load on it, and that's what I would recommend. And be careful, do not touch that, what I just did. Um, when you don't have a load on it, there shouldn't be a spark at the moment, so if not, use a resistor. If you have load on your wires already. Better be safe, right? Let me tighten them down. Now what I'm doing again, I like to double check everything. So let's see. I hope you can see this again. Zoom in all the way. Let me measure our friend. Let me measure the Anderson connector here. So hopefully I can get it with two hands. Nope, it's not it. There we go. 26.78. 26.78. Nice. So we were done. That's how you build your 24 volt pack with two Power Queen mini batteries. It's nice and easy setup. It is not too crazy complicated and you do not need to worry about it too much. It's really not that complicated the entire setup, how I made it. It's, I hope it was easy. Um, as mentioned, you can buy all the wires. I'll, I'll link some pre-made wires also in the description below in case you just wanna go buy them off Amazon or whatever, have them delivered and then just plug it in. Up to you. This is kind of what I like with the Anderson connector, so I built that myself. You can buy that as well. Everything pre-made, no worries about that. You do not need to have a lot of experience. If you need a 24 volt pack, I'm pretty sure you have a 24 volt inverter. You have a system which needs a 24 volt battery. The good about this is for sure that you do not need the big wires which you need for the 12 volt system because there's more voltage going through but less amperage, less current. So keep that in mind. So that's why everyone is going towards the bigger system, like the 48 volt system, because you can push more volts and less current, less amperage through it. So 
big advantage. There is always a step down um, device which you can use in, in case you still have 12 volt cigarette lighter, you have a 12 volt whatever charger, all those kind of things you can easily accommodate. But yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. I hope um, this was also interesting for you with those mini batteries. I'm still a big fan of those. I hope that I can get two more because I would like to build a 48 volt system. Um, they're amazing. I love it. I love it so much because you can also lay them flat or whatever you prefer. Orientation is whatever. They're really well made, I feel like. So don't forget, check out the advantage of an Expo in Big Bear. Power Queen will be there. I'll be there. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Cheers.